Um, you do track session because you can run uh, constantly on high speed. Because if you do, if you say, let's say, if you do 33 minutes on like fart leg, sometimes you have hills, sometimes you have some stones, and going down with a lot of group. So um, you don't maintain high speed while track. You can run every lap like let's say 16, 68, 68, 68, or 70, 70, 70. So that that speed it opens your legs and then the long run as you see is much easier the fast leg is much faster again so it's really important i think to uh, to have traction actually it was my uh, worst training always so if every time when i know oh, tomorrow is tuesday i was like <laughs> i don't know because to run constant was for me always difficult uh, even in marathons i like sometimes let, let, let the group go and then chase them again and so that chasing gave me energy but if you have to run like like a robot, it was very difficult always. But the last, actually last year, the last two seasons, I'm able to uh, stay in front, uh, do my part also to pace the group once, and um, to run actually good in the track. And then I saw when I changed that mentality, I was running much faster in the marathon. Ideally, you know, when you're writing a program, you profile athletes. So the, the, the profile of athletes that you're dealing with gives you what targets you should put in your, in your, in your speed session training. So uh, let's say an athlete was targeting um, two, two hours, three minutes, for example. You know, you, so you, 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 you do a range of from that key top group to the people who are also running 210, 29, and then do a range so that you know your training program will capture in the interest of the athlete running 203 to the one running 209, 210. If you're training with your breaker more or Elliot, and you're uh, an upcoming athlete, and then you force yourself to stay with them, then naturally you're killing yourself. So we always encourage people just to, to know themselves, understand their bodies, so that when they go for training, they are taking their position. They are not following and or forcing themselves to fit into the position of anybody else. Uh, that's what we, uh, we, we inculcate in them. And uh, with time, it's not something that happens instantly, but with time they'll understand. We always encourage them to pace themselves, be it in um, you know, speed sessions on the track or in the long run. You, know, you need to know how to balance your energy such that you, know, you finish the training in a good way. Yeah, and the, the good thing with a uh, track session is that uh, as we do repetition, um, even if somebody is dropped with one repetition, then he can go in front in the next repetition. So we try to, to put somebody else in the front uh, to pace. I can start with pacing the first 1,000, then another guy take the second 1,000, and then continuing like this. And that's uh, why it's really nice to be a group when you go uh, for a track session. On my own, it will be very difficult. Uh, I mean, the motivation you get from the group is uh, is uncountable. Um, like even when you are exhausted, you have one guy in front of you to 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 pace you, to push you. It's it's really helping. And I think sometimes when you are tired, you cannot think so straight, and you 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 will feel unmotivated for the next rep. But if you have someone, you have no choice. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous before track session. I always want to to reach the time that my, my coach is sending me. Um, and sometimes I know it's, it will be tough, but we have to do it, there's, there's no choice. <laughs> coach will say, no take over, so people don't push too much. So if the, if the person in front of you is not, uh, it's not letting a, a, a gap, if there's no gap to the other guy, you don't have to pass or to come in front, just stay where you are. So if you see on the video, we run like a long train. So the first, if it is 10 times 1600 meters, that first 10 people will do, the first guy will do 1600 meters, he'll go back, number 11 now, and then 
the one who was number two, he will take it over later. And like that. So if sometimes you see like some people, they get tired and they want to skip and the coach will ah, stay your position. <laughs> it's your turn to, to take because we like to help each other as a team. And, uh, but also don't make it crazy because if the coach let it go, you know, uh, someone will may feel nice today and say, let me put 62 instead of 68. So we want to run like constant. Uh, actually, that's the only training that coach controls. The rest is like, you go. At a certain point, the marathon can be also a sprint competition. So that, you know, repetition sessions, speed workers, it can help you like that. It doesn't matter if it is a 20 kilometer or 30 kilometer or 42 kilometer. You need it somehow, somewhere. So you have to be capable of doing that. Yeah, sometimes I have a two times uh, a, a week, two times speed work. Sometimes I work in the like like two day for speed work. Uh, one time I go to in the track. So uh, it's choose one one week I go to for the track. One week I came to for like this kind of places. So like this weather is very nice, very fantastic. Also sometimes I go to for in, in the track like at our stadium. Just it's combining for both places like uh, this place and like uh, for track. So uh, it is, it's depend of your program. Uh, it's, every week is different. Once it's a speed work, um, and the reason why we do track work is it makes the other work easier. Um, so if you have if you have that fast uh, uh, training on the track and you go um, to the longer run, it feels way easier. Uh, and that is the most reason I think uh, to have that feeling. And every time I do track, and the next time when I do short track or long run. Uh, it feels way easier and I, I think that's the secret that why a lot of uh, marathon runners feel sometimes uh, track athlete. I think every athlete have uh, some days that you don't feel 100% so it's always great to have someone who feel 100% and uh, to push that limit and uh, yeah we uh, motivate each other and we help each other uh, uh, to make the hard work easier. Speed is very important because, uh, look, it, so, sometimes you have to keep uh, advance. Advance. The, the advance means uh, if you are going to run, uh, let's say, a marathon at uh, 250, you need to maintain a speed workout and you, you need to cover under that speed because may be difficult to maintain all the way you know, for two kilometers, 250, so at least you have to run faster. If you train maybe in, on a speed uh, 240, two minutes, 40 seconds, maybe at least you have 10 seconds gap. So uh, that means when you are going to run uh, 250 on a marathon, at least body will not uh, struggling. Just relax, you know. You run, especially doing training on uh, on altitude, going sea level. You know, it's, uh, you get uh, much advantage easily. You can uh, catch up the pace and uh, running, relax it. Uh, actually, we are following a program, sir. So if we we are crossing uh, each lap with a certain time we have, they have coach has given us. If it's slow, we have to to increase, and if it's uh, faster, we have to maintain it. Sometimes when you feel you want to go, you have to, to relax, and that shows that you are in, in, a, in a good shape. Yeah. A 
it's more of a control environment uh, since when the coach uh, before beginning each and every session then we go to the coach the coach explains to us that this is the pace so we try to stick at the pace that the coach has advised us so we don't get crazy but maybe towards the end we can get crazy because it's, it's we are we are nearing the end of the session our speed is not so fast in like 1000 is we normally run from 250 to, to even 235 38 to 40 that's so fast real fast 238 to 40 we are doing the last one like 2000 we are doing up to 536 540 1600 we are doing up to 413 for yeah. 1200 we are doing up to 315 317 yes. Actually, we, um, we don't run that much faster. Okay, for Elliot, he ran his pace, but me, I was like 2'6 guy now. But I remember I ran 159 in a great run in UK last year, August, September. And I think I was running like 250, 250. That's what we do in the training always. So that time it was feeling actually nice. Like you, I was able to run constantly 250, 250, 250. While two years back, if you told me like that, it would be like, ah, that's fast. So track actually opens your legs. You always say that. I don't know how to explain, but it opens your legs. You can go much faster, uh, much easier for the, in the long runs. And as I say, also fart leg, you can go much faster. We have a cool system whereby you are leading and somebody is following. And when you finish, you go back and follow the others. It gives everybody a chance to to show his energy that, uh, and tell him that uh, you, can, you are able to, to win the race in future, you are able to do the track, in, track session in a good way. It, it's teamwork. Teamwork helps actually to open minds of many people. Teamwork helps uh, actually the belief that uh, somebody can do better than by actually uh, doing your, your, your thana in a good way. You know, when you start begin uh, stopping after the speed of being done, your body reacts because uh, this is when you are becoming tired. And when you become tired and then you begin another speed, uh, speed walk, your body wants to adapt so that uh, when you become tired in a race, there is that uh, reaction from your body that you are used to. Then you can speed up and can never affect you. It's really special to, to everyone here in camp because uh, when we went to the track, we worked together as a team. And when we achieved, we celebrate that, uh, that we, we did it as a team. And it's always, uh, it's always about teamwork, which is our key. It shows to everyone that uh, to be uh, an active uh, member, to, uh, a, support, a supportive member. So you have to do your part to give everyone a chance. To, to work for himself and to achieve what he, what he or she wants. Someone will drop, you give motivation, someone will go too fast and the coach will punish him to do it again. Everyone will laugh, of course. So of course, then you make jokes and you laugh and it is... It's actually a nice thing, but I used to hate it, but now uh, I really enjoy it. This group of athletes that we, we, we handle um, and, and coach uh, uh, have worked in a formula of teamwork. So naturally, when they, we go for training, they organize themselves. We don't organize them. In the beginning, when we started the whole thing, we, we would organize them. But somehow, naturally, they've grown into the system and they, they know how to, because it's, they believe in teamwork. Uh, I think we all enjoy. It, it's about actually accepting, it's about loving the track session. It's about uh, knowing the benefits. It's about knowing that uh, this is their only road to success. Yes. After 
uh, drug section, that is why we hack each other hands after the drug section, because of what we have done it, to show that uh, it's signs of uh, we have done it something good. Yes, of course, track sessions are always tough because of more speed. But I do always uh, enjoy so much in uh, speed, uh, speed sessions. Because when I, I, I achieved the target which was set for the speed, it's always my joy, it's always my special moment that uh, I've achieved what was set for today. And it motivates me to go for the next, uh, the next session. Yes.